Hello, this is RJ and you're at the Tech Cave. Right, so this is um, Prepare3D Flight Simulator. Um, and if you want to fly this in virtual reality, I fully recommend Fly Inside. It's a fantastic piece of software. So um, keep watching if this is something you're interested in. If you're not, go away. No, of course not. Um, carry on listening. Uh, you may be interested in this. Um, uh, there's been an issue with um, flying side for me personally with P3D um, for the last couple of weeks and I've been tearing my hair out trying to figure out what's been going on. Um, I've been basically getting really bad frame rates, really stuttering um, and just going through all the configs and messing around with affinity masks, if you know what that is, um, basically which um, core the um uh, is used for certain programs um and just been going around and around in loops and not really getting anywhere trying to figure out what on earth is going on um putting me off actually um using this at all so what i found is is that there's been an update in steam um, i'm going to post this up on the fly inside forum as well so if anybody's got fly inside they're using it with the htc vive i've no idea whether this is an issue with um uh, with uh, Oculus, hang on a second, has this just gone to sleep on me? Um, I've got no idea whether this is an Oculus um, issue as well, but it is an issue on the HTC Vive. And basically what it is, I went into the settings, I don't know why I suddenly thought of this, um, because I've noticed that they've put this enable always on reprojection. Now if you switch that off, here, you see, um, this um, enable always on so if I disable that in a second let's get this let's get it's doing something um, right you see all these missed frames so it's not reproject reprojecting um, in the game so um, the settings I have on p3d uh, crossing the airport there um, it runs, there we go, it's just gone straight through the airport. Uh, it runs at around, sort of, so anywhere between 20 and 40 FPS, which anybody in VR knows that's unacceptable, so you, you have to use reprojection. Where I was finding that it wasn't reprojecting to 90 FPS, sometimes it was dipping to 40 or 50, um, which is makes it kind of really stuttery and unplayable. As soon as you click this reprojection always on, check that out. Good frame rate again. So um, Steam have changed something um, uh, in, in their settings on an update. And the flying side software is not kind of updated with it as well. So there you go. There's If you're having stutters with the Vive, I don't know about the Oculus. Um, click that on. It may help in other games as well, so just check that out um, in the settings. So when you open up um, the Steam VR, uh, right click on, the, no, left click on that, go to the settings, and down here in the developer. There we are, and enable that on. If you turn it off, um, hang on, we're frozen up again. Yeah, but anyway, you need to keep that switched on make sure you're getting good frames right so there we go um i hope that um hope that's been help to somebody please share that with other people that may be um, using this program and um if anybody's thinking of, of getting it don't worry it works really well um there's just been a change on the steam side that possibly hasn't been picked up on flying side maybe the flying side software can't deal with it um with this change and you just have to manually go in and put this on this isn't on by default by the way um, I don't believe because I don't remember turning it off so just make sure that it's switched on okay thanks for watching my name is RJ hope I've been some help to you this is the Tech Cave bye bye